I'm almost finished with this square. I am ready to do, let's see how many rows we have on this last triangle. One, two, three, four. Wait a minute, let me get this back in the camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's continue on with the forward row on the ninth row. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and rotate. The bigger the square gets, the more we get tangled up. All right. Twist, yarn over, and pull through. Now we're ready for the last row. One loop is on the hook. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and one horizontal bar. That makes ten loops on our hook. Let's count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And the last time we're going to go into this foundation circle. Ten. Nine, eight, oops, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and this is the very last stitch, so we're just, we're not even going to flip it, we're just going to go ahead and twist and yarn over and pull through. Okay, now we can cut the yarn. Let's go ahead and cut this about eight inches long or so. And we are now finished with our balls of yarn. And we are going to just pull out this last working yarn like that. Okay, let's take a look what we have here. Notice the foundation circle is nice and loose. We're going to cinch that up in a minute. We are finished with the stitch marker, so let's remove that. And let's look at the back of the square. Okay. Can you see the carried yarn that goes all the way around the edges with a nice contrast to the color of each triangle? You can also see that there, that, that white yarn right there is the carried yarn, and this green yarn right here is the carried yarn. So we're going to need to uh, deal with those. 
plus we're going to need to deal with this yarn that's coming out of the foundation circle. But right now the one we're going to deal with is the one that we just pulled out of the very last stitch. Okay, so we're going to turn the square over. I like to, to rotate it this way. And it is kind of fiddly dealing with all of these hanging threads. But what we're going to do is we're going to get our needle, yarn needle, and we are going to thread it, thread that last working yarn through the yarn needle. Okay, what we need to do is find, we're going to attach these two corners to each other first. So I always count from this stitch right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's where I'm going to put my needle. I'm going to put it from front to back very carefully so that I don't split the yarn under both strands of the V. Pull it tight. Well, not quite yet. Now I'm going from front to back just into the center of this last stitch of the last triangle. From front to back. And I'm going to pull it tight so that these two V's nestle into each other. Now I'm going to turn it over and try and keep these other strands out of the way. And I'm tightening, I'm pulling it up a little bit more to tighten it up. I'm going to find a place back here to just make an anchoring stitch. Just, uh, let's see, let's find something that won't show on the right side. I just want to anchor that just a little so it won't pull loose while I'm working on the seam. Okay, now keeping these carried yarns out of the way, I'm going to turn the square back over. Now what we want to do is join this seam in such a way that these vertical bars line up with these vertical bars in each row. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure those carried yarns are out of the way. And then coming from the back of the fabric, I'm coming up in that hole right there. But I'm also getting underneath that vertical bar that's just to the left of the edge stitch. And I'm going to pull it up. Okay, now I want to find the next vertical bar on the lower triangle, which is this one. And I'm going to put my needle under it from right to left without splitting the yarn and pull on it. Now, I'm going to put my needle right back into that exact same hole that the needle that the yarn is coming out of on that top triangle. And I'm going to tug tightly. Okay, so what you can see now is that those vertical bars line up. Okay, now from the back of the fabric, I am going to come up in that little hole right there and then under that next vertical bar. And I'll find the next one below, right to left without splitting the yarn and pull tight. Then go back down into the exact same hole that that needle came out of. Now if you want to, you can reach back there and pull the yarn 
nice and tight right there. And then come up through the next hole and the next bar. And go back down into the same hole that it came out of. Now to save a little time I can do both of these motions at the same time. See? Let's pull that nice and snug there. Isn't that beautiful how that goes? Okay, down here Back into the same hole it came out of. Up there, under that. Back into the same hole. Come up there. Go under that bar. Sometimes I come up through here, and sometimes I come up through here. I think I like this way better. Doesn't really matter because on the front it's going to look beautiful. And on the back it's going to look great. Oops! Dropped my needle. And here's that last, oh, that's not the last one, next to last, pickle bar. Here's the last vertical bar. It's kind of hard to find sometimes. And then back down into the same hole it came out of. And I just lost my yarn. No, I didn't. Okay. And I'm pulling on it from the back. You don't want to pull it too tight or it'll gather it up. See, I gathered it up a little too much right there, so I'm going to just loosen it up a little bit. Looks pretty good. Okay, now here's how we deal with all of the yarn ends on the back. I'm going to continue with the same color that I was working with and weave it in, and I'll show you how I weave it in. First of all, I go, I start where it's coming out, and I go under the white color, and then under the same color, in this case green. Then I kind of fold it back like this, and I just work across these stitches that are kind of pooching up 
And it's okay if I split these because this is um, weaving in. And when you weave in an end, it's okay to split stitches. It keeps them actually where they're supposed to be a little bit better. And I usually try and go through that tight knot right there to really anchor it. And I stretch it to make sure that it's not going to be puckered. Then I trim off that end. Okay, next thing I do is I deal with the carried yarns. And what I do is I tie a knot, a gentle knot, and then I tie another knot, and on the second knot I pull tightly. Okay. Now I will come back in a minute with a new video.